Good morning and welcome to another vlog style video, at least it's morning for me. Um, and I was not expecting to make one so soon after the last one, I think it was two videos ago, but this product really lends itself to this style because I can show you in different lighting situations. And um, I feel like if I set up the formal lighting that I normally do, it's harder to see. So this way you can get some close-ups and then I can show you how I'm going to wear this during the day and I'm also going to transition this. I do have an event to go to this evening. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to kind of transition this into an evening look. It will be pretty um, like a low key evening look though because it's not like a party type event but it's still evening. So I will apply this on eyes cheeks and lips. <laughs> um, I did read an article about it so um, I want to try it the way that I read it and I will show you just a couple different ways that I'm using this. I'm just going to put you on the tripod so I can use both my hands here. During the time I thought I had you filming I had reached over to get something and um, things happened and they fell on the ground and this is what happened to my blush that I have on today yeah we have a nice crack here so luckily it's not in complete pieces hopefully I can salvage this that's what happens when I have concrete floors but let's go ahead in with this whoa oh my goodness um, so I want to say that you can apply it like this which you can but I don't get the intensity that I like with this so you can really see how nice and sheer that is I'll put a close-up of a swatch, but this really is the best way I've decided for me to use this, just to go straight on. And it gives the most beautiful, natural, really no makeup makeup. So this is the most no makeup makeup I've ever tried, but it has a bit of like moisture to it that doesn't look artificial. And you can't see any individual particles. I mean, there are teeny tiny little ones, but it's not like someone's going to say, I can see that you have all kinds of makeup on your face, but it just does something to add just a little bit of color. But like I said, it's really subtle. Um, I do have this on right now with a little bit of this. So it's the Sheer Fluid Veil by Clé de Pauvre as my primer. That's got SPF 21 in it. And then I also have the, uh, my favorite of the year, last year, Radiant Blue Foundation in 040, very thin layer. I also have on some concealer right in the middle of my face, the Hourglass Vanish one that I did my other video on, my other vlog style video on. Wanted to let you know really quickly though with that, primer makes a difference. So this is what I had on and I had a little bit of the Hourglass primer on the white one. Again, if you don't have the budget for this, don't get this, but the Hourglass one's very nice and you can get a, um, a travel size one that lasts a long time to make the most of that concealer so i just did want to mention that in case you picked up the concealer primer makes a difference and then use just a little bit a little goes a long way what i wanted to say is that i didn't powder here <laughs> because i have powdered with this uh and it kind of lifts the powder off so you can see how just it just is a nice healthy radiant kind of finish and it's not sticky, although it does not dry down completely either. So it's kind of in between. I've got two products that kind of do this. So let me um, do this first before I break something else. I did see someone add it to their lips. I don't know. I'm going to show you what it looks like, but that's not how I would wear it. But I, I thought I'd show you. So I'm just going to go over the other eye. So this does make me a little bit like, hmm, cross contamination between your eyes, anywhere in your eye area and then like the lip area because I'm just, I'm just gonna wipe this off here and then on the um, cheekbone. I'm just wiping it off on this Kleenex, this tissue. I mean, it looks like there's color to it but you don't really see it on my skin and may have something to do with the shade of my skin but I don't see much color per se. I'm going to go in with lips. It feels like a lip balm. This is not necessarily how I would wear it, or actually how I would even apply it. I would probably apply it with like a lip brush. Because you could, again, do this and pat it on. It just takes longer and it's a different effect. It's not as intense. I mean, if this is the most intense it's going to get. That's not it, but it has some moisture to it as well. So that's why I feel like this is... I just dropped it. I feel like this is a very beautiful no makeup makeup and I don't have mascara on or anything yet so that will make a difference as well. It reminds me of um, kind of like an in-between point between this. I picked this up because I liked that like wet makeup look um, and it's the Beauty Blender Glass Glow Highlighter 
and it's very liquidy very liquidy it's too liquidy for me there's like a silicone -y kind of feel to it and then this well it's kind of old now but it's the tom ford this product it's their highlighter and it's a little bit i don't know why i'm doing this because you can't see it but i'm just trying to feel it so i can describe it to you this is very balmy too but it's not as it doesn't have the glide and it has much more um, shimmer in it than this one I, I will try and swatch them side by side so you can see exactly what the difference is it's not as tacky as this this is a little bit tacky and it's not as slippery as this one it's kind of in between the two so out of all three of those i like this consistency the best so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add um, mascara and then eyeliner and then i think maybe we'll curl hair we'll do my hair although i kind of like it like this so i'm trying to decide if i'm going to wear it like this for the evening and i'm going to show you how i cover up these lovely gray hairs when i have not gone to the um, colorist yet <laughs> so let me just get that mascara on i've now added mascara i've added um this is givenchy mascara with the dior show maximizer primer underneath i also put on a little bit of black eyeliner i'm trying to use up this it's cosmetics it cosmetics no tug in black it's really nice it's um waterproof and it says anti-aging i don't know what makes it anti-aging but really smooth going on doesn't move um and then i used the charlotte tilbury um barbarella brown right on top i mean i put very little eyeliner what's nice about this product to the balm I keep calling it a balm because it feels like it, so that's not what it is. It's the multi-use stick. It doesn't smudge this eyeliner. I was afraid the mascara or eyeliner might smudge with this because it's a little bit um, like moisturizing, but it hadn't. So I'm going to try it again today and see how it works. Also in the waterline, I have the Clay de Peau 305. It's a cream eyeshadow. I just kind of dabbed it in there with my fingers. Um, let me see if I can open it. It's this one right here. Uh, and I put a little bit of the signature palette by Victoria Beckham right under uh, on my lower lash line so this is what's in my waterline I looked for a color like this in an eyeliner kind of thing but I just have not been able to find one um, but that works really beautifully it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. it has that like fleshy kind of tone that I'm looking for a little bit peachy and then I've got this the suede color right here on the right hand side that is under my lower lash line and that's all I added what I did want to do though is also add because sometimes I will put like a highlighter down in the center of my nose I think I'm just going to put that balm right here and see how that works I don't want to make it too wide but just something subtle to catch the light I don't know if you can see that but let's go ahead and um, curl my hair and let's see where we are with that also I have this stick the dart pomade stick when I remember to use it it's like a it looks like a antiperspirant kind of thing like a deodorant stick but it's for your hair so any of those little hairs like that one just helps tame them like that little one without adding too much hairspray which is something I like I don't like adding too much hairspray so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then um, this is pretty much the daytime look um, yeah very subtle so I've got my um, beach waver here and I just, when I did the demo on this, I didn't show how quickly it heated up so I just turned it on and that's one of the things I love the most about this thing is that it heats up like really fast and I put mine at 350 so it's not too hot and I noticed that the less product I put in my hair, the better it is. I mean, heat protectant helps. Here it is, 350. So I don't know if that took under a minute. I'm going to take my brush and I love this Mason Pearson brush. I'm still trying to decide on the whole part in the middle or part on the side. I don't know. I don't know what I like better. But I just take a bit of this, put it in here, and I hold it for about 12 seconds. And I kind of put some tension on it. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's taking a nap but I hold it on there for about 12 seconds. I feel like, did this used to beep? I don't know, but I kind of just watch it. And when, if you have trouble with this, if you just um, push the button and then slide it out, it keeps that curl intact. So it needs to set in order for it to hold a little bit better so don't disturb the curl right away. Um, 
let it kind of sit. So I'm trying to see beyond you so I can see in the mirror here. And it's really the quickest way and the best way. I love watching people do the um, straight iron and make a curl. I can't do it. So this is the best tool for me because I can't wield a flat iron. I'm going to just remove you because I can't see the mirror. So uh, I will show you when I'm done. I did a full tutorial on this though. If you want to see the whole head curled, um, I'll link it below. Okay, I curled my hair, I'm trying to let it cool. While I let it cool, I'm going to add this. It's the Rita Hazen Root Concealer Touch-Up Spray. Really great for, okay, this is another reason why I like parting in the middle, because when I part on the side, you can see so much more gray. Um, so I'm just gonna spray this down the center. Right away, that just takes care of everything really quickly. Um, so I'm going to get my hair colored this week. Uh, but this is in dark brown black. And then there's this other tool that I found at the drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Magic Root Precision. And I don't know if you've seen it before, but it has these bristles, the really soft bristles, and they just catch those little hairs. So like you can see how soft it is. So you just twist it up like this. Okay, oops, that's too much. And then some comes out and then you just brush it into these areas, especially on around the face. This is perfect. So you just lift up your roots like this and then you brush it in there. It's the easiest, quickest way to cover your roots that I've found. I've tried a lot um, and it doesn't get on your scalp. Sometimes you get a little bit like this, just rub it in. Um, or take a spoolie and you can kind of brush it in, but does a really nice job. I don't have to worry so much when my hair is like this because I can't see my temples as much. So I'm just going to spray with, this is the Orbe, I love this, super fine hairspray. It already has a thing in it. Um, my favorite hairspray. And just let it kind of set the hair. Ooh, I'm going to brush it through so that it's um, nice and just kind of loose waves. I'm just going to brush through. So you can see the difference between like loose waves and then these which are still defined. Only thing about this is that if you put um, glasses on top of your head and then you put them on your face, you're gonna end up with color on your face. Like the nose pads will pick it up and then you'll end up with two like dark spots right here. So just be careful. It does transfer a little bit. Okay, so here we are looking a little shiny with the hair so loose curls and you can keep them separate i just like to loose loosen them i just like them loose but here i see it's straight so i'll probably go in later and curl it if i decide that's how i want to keep it down but i noticed that hairspray is just so soft that there's still so much movement here and it kind of keeps the frizz down but that's why i love it because it's very light and I have very coarse hair. So heavy things to which you think would be better for my hair are actually quite ineffective. So the lighter the product, the better. Um, yeah, but again, that thick, coarse hair, but not so much of it is what I have. Um, but I just wanted to talk about the lighting. It is overcast today, so that's why it looks like everything is kind of blue. I don't know, it's weird. I've been, um, as I vlog, been um, kind of looking at the footage and editing, but that just tells you how much of an impact lighting has on everything. So I don't know if you tuned into Michelle Wong's podcast. Um, she was on a podcast because she did a boot camp um, for her YouTube channel. So I'm really interested in that story because her success has been quite phenomenal, but she's worked very hard. So she definitely deserves everything that she has earned. Um, it's quite amazing, but um, I was listening to her talk about lighting. Now you get what you pay for, so at some point I would love to invest in the lighting that she talked about, but it's not in my budget right now to purchase it, so I rely so heavily on natural light because I think it's so beautiful, but it's also really inconsistent. Like today, overcast will pretty, probably be overcast all day today, so that's why, if you're wondering why things look like greenish gray back here, that's what it looks like outside, so that's what we get. I still have a couple of lights here, but um, just not as beautiful 
of lighting as usual, but I'm going to take you either outside or we'll run some errands and then show you what this looks like. I also noticed that my eye, my eye makeup, my um, mascara has been transferring up here. Um, so I think that is because of this product. So just one thing to look out for. Um, I usually don't go that high with the Chanel um, multi glow stick. Um, I did today, but I can see that because it's right where my eyelashes are hitting, it is getting a little bit of transfer. So just be careful of that if you are wanting to do that. What you can do is set some powder down, like a crease color um, or like a bronzer, just to um, make sure that that doesn't happen if that's an issue with what you are doing with your makeup. So I just want to throw that in. Um, oh, by the way, let's see. This is indoor lighting. So this is just kitchen lighting. Kitchen lighting? I've got overhead lighting, I guess. And that's kind of what it looks like inside so you can see if you have any sorry the dishwasher's on and um, if you have any fine lines this is a really great product for you too because if you're concerned about highlight because i know powder highlighters can do that where it's like so harsh and you can see all those fine lines in there this is pretty true to life i think this representation on the setting i have now and see right now that it's just like happening there you can see that it's just bouncing the light off without emphasizing those just because of the fact that it doesn't have that much in terms of reflective reflective particles it's a bit translucent and then it just has that moisture but again it's not slippery or anything it doesn't totally set either though um, but it just looks really healthy okay here now that it's overcast today here's a good opportunity to check the um, outdoor outdoor check how it looks outside um and so the eyes i think i might i can't see if i have more mascara transferring here but here's the cheek area i think that's the best but it's again really subtle i think it's really great for like realistic type makeup hey nice socks Thank you. um so we're going to ask you if you can answer this and then we'll give you the answer at the end uh, but there's something in this car because it's considered vintage what this is. Those of you who are my age will know, but those of you who are younger might not know what this is. Let me know what you think this is in the description box below and then at the end we'll show you what it is. with lights on maybe that helps like the the lights in the room this is where I feel like yeah I would love some lighting that's excellent but um we will just deal with what we have for now I think you can still see it I did take some shots in the car this time so I haven't had a chance to look back at them to see if they're any good but I'm going to wear this I love this it's a Vince top it's a t-shirt but it's got like I don't know if you can see sleeves but they're kind of what is the word that wing? I don't know if that's a word, but they kind of come out and then I'm going to put that little Chanel jacket on that I have on top. So in case you're asking me about this bracelet, it is a bracelet that my mom purchased in Asia many years ago that she has given to me. So I'm very lucky to have it. So I don't know if I can find something that matches it. I can look. I think, I don't know if she had it made or if she just had it in her mind and finally found it. So I don't know, but I'm very lucky that she loves jewelry and then loves to give it to me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just powder here really quick. I feel a little shiny. Um, that Givenchy mascara that I have on, I love that it gets a nice fan kind of effect, but it does smudge. I don't know if <laughs> I, I saw it in the playback on the, when I was curling my hair, like, oh my gosh, that mascara is um, transferring big time. Um, and also I had a little bit down here. So just know that when you wear it, you're gonna wanna make sure to powder if you do want to use that mascara. It's lovely, but it just, 
it transfers on me a bit. There we go again with the mirror. <laughs> okay, let me get it out of the shot. I feel like this is really bright. Let me see what I can do to fix it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this into a little bit more of an evening um, kind of thing. I'm going to reapply it because I feel like, did it fade a little? It's been a few hours. Um, just right here and take some on my finger and just add it to my lid. So you can see there's not much in terms of movement of that eyeliner, which was one of my main concerns with this, was that it was going to end up all over. But really the issue has been with my mascara above all else. I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer in the crease just because I don't want to have to worry about it. I think that'll help a bit. And I'm gonna brush it on my mascara too and see if that helps. Okay, next we're going to go in with a couple of things just to make this more evening. I'm going to deepen this um, eye look up just slightly and then add a lip and then we'll go in with that balm again. Oh, I should add the balm to my other side too while I'm at it. So I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer. Um, I've been trying to purchase at least one eyeshadow stick a month so I can do a nice comparison. I know that's something people are really interested in. I love a good eye stick. So this is the Ilia and it's a clean beat, I believe. This is You Spin Me Around and it's a beautiful grayish color. Okay, let's see what I can do here. So I just wanted to add it underneath the lash line just slightly. I think I might go in the water. Oh, should I put it in the water line? Let's do it, put it in the water line. because I do love how eyeshadow sticks kind of double as eyeliner. It's a really pretty smoky gray color without being too dark. I want to add this pretty strategically just right above like I would an eyeliner. Then I want to smudge it out. So I'm adding it to the last uh, one third or half and just smudging like this. There's a bit of shimmer in here too. So it catches the light really beautifully. And I think this is a good way to go if you want a smoky look without getting too dark. Um, yeah, this one's pretty. So I'm going to add these. And this, we talked about these before. The Clay de Peau, this one is in Midnight Magic. It's the Rouge Liquid Matte. Um, and I forgot about this kind of, and then I wore it the other day and noticed when I wiped my mouth with a napkin, there was still some color left. So we're gonna go in with this. And then I like to layer um, the other one, the Clay de Peau. This is the um, Radiant Liquid Rouge Shine in Sepia. Sepia, number two. And let's just take that balm again. And the reason I'm patting it is because I don't want the color to transfer onto this. What else should we do? Oh, you know what we should do? Let's put this on. It's a little bit more color than I have right now, but that's okay. I like this for evening. So it looks like I really don't have much makeup on and I really don't have as much makeup on as I usually do for a video. So this again is like your real life kind of. And then I'm gonna get my jacket, so hold on. Okay, now that I have it, it's really hard for me to put my jacket on these days because I feel like I might have a rotator cuff issue, which I hope I don't. I've been trying to um, exercise and work out, but I feel like I injured my shoulder. Okay, and I think that's it. Now, we could do a check-in when I come back, um, just to see how this all lasted. And again, at the end of the night, it's about 9.30, so I've had this makeup on for, uh, oh gosh, how long all day <laughs> i think i started around 11 30 so a good 10 hours but i wanted to show you um what my eye makeup looks like because there is has been some transfer um just with that eye crayon um and then i do have i think that's just again that mascara that givenchy mascara but anyway i thought i would just show you what we are looking like at the end of the night in terms of how everything kind of held up it's not a wear test or anything like that but i thought i would just check in with you to show you um, in case you did want to wear all day and put a little bit more on um my battery is dying so let me just change batteries but i feel like the no makeup makeup is the best way to wear it over here it looks really great 
um, still it hasn't really broken apart in terms of makeup but I try to keep the foundation pretty minimal there anyway and then no powder I just want to show you what it looks like in case you were interested in wearing it in an evening kind of setting I would recommend it in terms of a daytime very minimal makeup look again if you have flawless skin and you just want to put a little bit of something on to make it look like um, a little bit more fresh a little bit more I think it's again that healthier dewy look then I would definitely pick this up and then put a little mascara on or even no mascara I think it looked fine with the no mascara um, but make sure I would put a waterproof mascara though definitely with this um, if I was going to wear this for any long amount of time um, also just make sure your eyeliner that you use isn't going to smudge or transfer because it is a little bit more um, like a, a moisturizing type of consistency so it doesn't dry down but I really like it I think I will use it more for daytime than anything else um, and in fact I'll be wearing it tomorrow um, maybe on the cheekbones in the evening I think would look really pretty but I wouldn't rely on it to really do that much on the eyes unless I again go in with um, waterproof eye, eye makeup eye mascara <laughs> waterproof mascara and I think that's it so I hope that I was able to help you figure out how best to use this product um, I just kind of wanted to play around and see how versatile it was but it was fun to use and definitely I love the shade so I don't think I'm interested in the other shades at least not on my skin so I think if you're fair oh my gosh my hair is a mess I think if you're fair I think I would look at the other shades but if you're my shade or any deeper then it's a really beautiful color so thanks again for letting me do this format I got the feedback that I got I think more people liked this and I think I got one person who said they prefer the other mode because I'm less energetic I think I'm a little bit more energetic in a vlog but actually I watched a sit down video after that when I edited it and and yeah I'm a little bit more calm in a sit down I think because I'm a little unsure of this right now is maybe why it's a little bit of a different energy level so maybe I'll calm down after practicing a little bit but there goes the heater but if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks okay so if you were not sure what these were or if you did know what they were we're gonna just show you player because there is a cassette player in this car. What do you have in here?